think there is a little bit of poke through we need to talk about namely here but this is also this is great to show you actually how i would fix this there's something at the back here as well but it's not going to be framed up so i don't think i need to fix it but those parts on the shoulder here, I need to do that. So let's see what morphs we have. And if we don't have morphs, I'll show you how to do this with the geometry editor and just hide these surfaces underneath here. But let's see if we can have an easy option that just makes this bulge out a bit. We're good. If we don't, then we'll, we'll go to plan B. So we're concerned about the jacket. This is the jacket. Let's see if we can just make that bulge out. So on the right hand side, under actor shaping, that's probably where that is. Yeah, so we have a lot of options. So expand all is one that does this for everything. That's probably going to do the trick. Boom, perfect, sorted, <laughs> including the back. So that's already that's that's already sorted my problem. That's perfect. It's, if we hadn't had that, and just remember we do have it, so we don't have to worry about it. But if we hadn't had that, let me show you how to do this with the geometry editor and fix pork through here, because that is not every um, item of clothing has that many morphs. And I always appreciate it when, uh, when clothing creators put these in despite de deforce. So it'd be very easy to think, hey, deforce will sort it out. I don't have to worry about it. No, no, it's not the case. Even after the deforce simulation, sometimes you run into problems like this. So let's try this, try to make that happen. I have it up here. This is the tool you need, the geometry editor tool. It's also up under window panes. I'm so sorry, <laughs> tools, geometry editor. And you also need the tool settings for that, which is under the window panes tool settings tab. So let's go and switch over to that. You see my manipulator has gone away. I'll switch over to my tool settings in which I can see all these groups here. And that's really scary when you see this for the first time because you think, oh, what, what is all this? It's just the, 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 the figure that's selected that shows you what, the, what, its, what its geometry groups are. So you can hide them here if you like, but I don't want to do that. The surfaces are also nameable if you want to uh, if you want to see what's what here you can select or deselect these things you can hide these things if you want to do that and uh, so it's it gives you a bit of variety here this is basically the the hard work that clothing creators put in to split up their clothing under the hood then we have the regions here we don't really worry about that we're worried about selection sets and this is kind of something that lets you save a group that you uh, that you create and that we have to create now and really, we don't have to create them on the jacket at all. The jacket is fine the way it is. What we need is the item of clothing underneath the jacket. And that is, of course, in our case, the shirt. So let's select the shirt. And when I do that, the geometry selection will also change over here. And now I've got this little brush here. This that little red dot and its selection radius can be set up here. So if I go and turn that into something larger, like maybe 30. 30 is probably good. You see a much larger circle here, and that's nice. Notice that as I move in and out of the figure, the circle will always stay the same size. So that's a kind of a quick way to change its size. If you needed to select a larger area, you would just zoom out of the figure. And because the circle is the same size, it now selects a larger area. I'm only going to fix whatever is broken, namely this here. So left click and drag and it'll select everything that pokes through my jacket. So either or, I'll go and hold control down to select more than one group. And I think there's also this here. So still holding down control will add this also to my selection. So I've got these three parts of the shirt selected, not the jacket, of the shirt. And with that, I'll come over here to selection sets, right click selection sets and say create selection selection set from selected. I'd say that 10 times fast, create selection set from selected. You click it and then you give it a name and I'll say this is the shirt poke. 
and that creates a group for me that will be saved with my scene as I do that. And the beauty of this group is now I can go and click this little eyeball icon and that will make what I've selected invisible. And that means the poke through has been eliminated. And that's very nice. Sometimes you run into the problem that if you fix one thing, like in, in especially in, in layered types of clothing, you may now run into the problem that the underlying figure, like the, the character, is also poking through at that point. So that it, you, you'd have to go and do the same thing on the character. Thankfully, we don't. But uh, yeah, this, this, this is our handiwork. If I go and make the jacket invisible now, I can see that I can see Hitoshi Sensei underneath here. So that's that's a possibility. There's other ways of doing it, but the geometry editor is a, is a really nice, helpful way of, of fixing a quick poke through. And if you had other items in a particular pose that you see now, you can go and just add more selection sets like shirt poke at the top, shirt poke at the bottom or whatnot. So this, um, yeah, this is an easy way to do it. I'll give you the jacket back, Hitoshi. And I'll switch back over to my 3D manipulator tool, my, my, my universal manipulator. And since we have no more poke through, let's go and render this guy out for real. And in fact, also, let's go and save him out. So the selection sets are saved with the, with the figure that you save or with the scene as you save it. But what happens is that next time you load in the scene, you have to go and just make those invisible again. So the selection sets remain, but it's visibility status does not just something to be aware of if you think if you load the scene again you think haven't i just fixed that you just have to go back into the tool settings with the geometry editor and just make that invisible again <laughs> <laughs>